Okay, so how should we do that? Well, I believe the easiest way for doing this is to introduce you the matrix representation for the simplex method. You're going to see that there is a very compact way to um, illustrate or to represent each simplex iteration. And actually, well, the thing that we're going to introduce is more efficient than the Tableau way. Okay, so Tableau may be easier for beginners to understand the idea of the simplex method. But actually, all the commercial solvers, they implement the simplex method according to the matrix representation. So anyway, let's see what's this. Uh, we know that our standard form linear program may be expressed in this way. We want to max maximize C transpose x subject to x equals b and x is greater than or equal to zero. Uh, our x is our variable vector x1 to xn. Our c are those uh, objective coefficients. A is a matrix with m rows and n uh, columns. Okay, and the b our right hand side uh, vector is our b1 up to bm, where m is the number of constraints we have. Okay, so this is uh, to use matrix to represent all the constraints and uh, objective functions. For example, our objective function is actually c1 x1 plus c2 x2 plus c3 x3 plus blah 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 plus c n x n. Okay, so the thing here I want to do is that I'm going to divide x into two parts called xb and xn, where xb is the basic variables and xn is the set of non basic variables. Once I do that, my c vector should also be divided accordingly to cb and cn and my matrix a should also be divided into two submatrices i'm going to select the basic columns and the non-basic columns to divide a into a b and a n okay and once i do that i'm going to have this thing my constraints will become ABXB plus ANXN. Uh, that's going to be some linear combination of columns, right? That's my left hand side. And my right hand side is still the same, it's just B. My objective function will become CBXB plus CNXN, uh, where I should have the transpose. Okay? So this is just dividing all the things, all the variables into the basic set and the non basic set. Once I have that, I may rearrange the terms in the constraint. Well, what I'm doing is that I know that my constraints are a, b, x, b plus a, n, x, n equals b, right? And that means I may take this thing to the right hand side. I'm going to have a, b, x, b equals b minus a, n, x, n. Well, looks fine. And then I'm going to multiply a, b inverse and a b inverse at both sides so that the left hand side they will cancel each other and then i'm going to get xb xb equals this thing uh, a b inverse times b minus a n x m okay so this is the derivation well nothing but arrangements plus minus subtraction inverse okay that's not a big deal and my next step is that if I do have xb equals this thing, I'm going to replace my objective xb by this long term. So my xb will become this guy, right? This is just a plugin, nothing others are changed, so it should be fine. And then I'm going to split this term. So I have cb transpose ab inverse b, well, it's here, cb transpose ab inverse b right and i'm going to have cb transpose cb transpose a b inverse a n x n okay um, let me double check i have cb here and a n x n here and a b inverse right so i do have cb transpose a b inverse a n x n as the terms i collected from the the items with the red underline and then I also have the last thing, which is Cn transpose Xn. Okay, 
So I'm going to collect xn and xn, okay, all together to get this one. And then this thing, CB transpose AB inverse AN goes to here, and CN goes to here with minus size. So you double check, and then you will see the uh, derivations should be correct. So once I have all of this, well, basically I can say my linear programming standard form can be expressed in this way. My xb certainly is a function of xn, and also I, my objective function is actually this one, or nothing really special. And what's interesting is that once I have this, I actually can say, well, that's actually a tableau. That's actually how I calculate numbers in a tableau. In a valid simplex tableau, the reduced cost of the basic variables are zero, right? That's how in your objective function, you don't see any coefficient with your xb because the objective coefficients for basic variables actually is zero, as you may see, okay? And also, for the basic columns, you will have identity. Where is it? It's here, okay? When you write your xb as whatever, uh, you may multiply it with an identity. Uh, that's how you get all the things. So this is how it corresponds to a valid tableau, okay? So you also take a look here. Uh, this is a on uh, this part, this part. At your constraint part is AB inverse B minus AB inverse AN XN. Okay, AB inverse B minus AB inverse AN XN. Oh, so you double check here and there, you can see, oh, well, this should be um, a minus sign here and this should be a plus sign. Okay, let's double check, oh, it should be fine. Okay, so once we have all of this, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to multiply, uh, do some arrangements and say, okay, this should be a plus sign and this should be equality. And once I have all of this, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to put all the coefficients into a tableau, okay? I'm going to do the basic columns with zero and I. I'm going to put the non-basic columns as my coefficients for xn, which is ab inverse an, ab inverse an, and the whole thing here. This is actually my reduced cost. And finally, for the right-hand side, it should be ab inverse b and cb transpose ab inverse, cb transpose ab inverse b, which is there. So I actually just put all those coefficients into a tableau. That's how we mean by having a tableau. And that's just given any valid choice of the index sets of basic and non-basic columns, we get our tableau directly. So if you are somewhat confused about all the things I just mentioned, well, the conclusion is the following. To run the simplex method in each iteration, just give me a set of basic variables, okay? In each iteration, we are indeed choosing basic variables, right? Once I choose a set of basic variables, you have B, you have N, you have AB, AN, CB, CN, and then all you need to do is to calculate all these things by using the red circle formula. Once you do this, you have a tableau. You check all the reduced cost, if you need to do something, you do the ratio test, you do the pivoting, you get to the next basic set, and then you do all the things again. Well, let's see some examples.